Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. We are finally, I mean finally, getting to play the Mortuary Assistant. So, I meant to play this in the middle of Stray, um, but I really, really, really wanted to finish Stray, so I did. Um, but I did say we were going to play this. I've been super stoked to play this since the demo. If you guys saw me play the demo, that was back a couple months ago, probably closer to the end of the year, I should say. Um, I loved it. The demo is fantastic, and I gave huge kudos to the dev. This is a solo dev, by the way, who made this game. Um, I gave huge kudos to the dev because not everybody got the same demo. I mean, everybody downloaded the demo, but the scares were different for everybody that played. It was either different moments, different scares. It was fan fucking tastic, um, and I think that's a huge amount of like props to the single dev to do something like that to make everybody's experience different i already got the same demo that's a lot of work and dedication to this game um everybody in their mom has played the mortuary's assistant by now it seems like i am all like last on the ball but um i want to play it i've been excited for it i said i would um i've seen some gameplay for it already um i watched jack so to kind of do a little bit of it and um it's it's more than i hoped for um, so I'm super excited to play it myself. Um, I will also be playing it on the side for a friend. She asked it when I play this that she gets to watch. So I will um, be going back and forth. I'll have to see if I can do two saves at once. If I can't, then we'll have, I'll have to figure something out. But um, this is, this is going to be interesting. Um, whew, I already have the chills. And you're supposed to... Oh. You're supposed to have full gamepad um, with this, which um, I have to use the control panel on, or, oh my god, the control pad on this. Um, but from what it looks like, it might just be easier to play with the keyboard and mouse. I will try both, see what happens. Um, so I think we're just going to um, get right into it, because I can't think of what I was trying to say. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Um, but I did look for you guys. I said I was trying to figure out what the next game was that I was going to play on Steam that wasn't horror. Um, since Golems, we have no idea when that's coming out. Uh, there are a couple indies coming out. There's um, I didn't do a recording of Unpacking for you guys. It was like an OCD game. There's another one coming out that I'm, I'm going to play. I'm so glad it's almost over. Hello. Congratulations, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. I'll never understand why you chose such a macabre field. There's nothing but... disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of you. The I graphics really remind me of Nancy Drew. You've come so far. So, you haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job where you are, or...? They actually have everyone they need. But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> moms. No, moms no are like I'm this. not moving. He's actually located around here. River Fields. Oh, Rebecca. I don't like that. Grandma. Even I've heard oh, things Grandma. about that place. Oops, not mom. I'd just be worried people about you. People make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. And we try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. Right, right. I'm sorry. But I wanted to give you this anyway. So, here. I, I don't know if I want that. Just take it, please should be yours anyway family thing I guess Cross, pin on our thanks <laughs> all right enough spooky stuff I'm so proud of you when is all this happening when do you start I've actually been there for a few weeks now my review is tomorrow Um, but as I was saying, um, I haven't really decided what I want to play next that's not horror, um, along with playing this. 
I'm still doing Elden Ring, but um, I'm either going to do, uh, I'm thinking, One Piece World Seeker, because I've been wanting to play that for a while. I will. Or I might start um, God of War. I have not decided yet, though. I guess you guys will see when it gets uploaded what I have picked. But for now, we're going to play this. All right. Here we go. I should probably turn the... I didn't even think about turning the volume down a little bit. What happened to my mouse? Oh my god. Well, it's already not super loud. Interesting. Oh, did I just go back to... Oh, no. oh fucking hell. I did accidentally go back to the main menu. Mm, fuck. Whatever's gonna make me go then. Please don't make me watch the whole thing with Grandma again. Okay, thank God. I don't think I could see him looking at Grandma again, going through that whole conversation. All right, here we go. Whoa, the sensitivity. Holy fook. No, that's <laughs> crouch. Those thighs, though. Damn, she got some good thighs. I'm gonna have to change since. Holy fucking shit. So we can pick it up, but we can't actually have coffee. Okay, I see how it is. How do I. Holy shit. Give me this. I know this is an achievement. God. I don't know where it went. Oh, it's way over there. I thought it was something about like throwing the red vase. Or just doesn't like me. Well, now it's in a corner, I can't reach it. Mr. Delver's business cards. Deceased care. Is that candy? What the hell? Oof. So the controller is not super bad yet. I do have to change the look sensitivity because that sucker is crazy. Eh. Be swiveling all around like mad. Can I have my do some of the paperwork? Okay. Oh great, quick inventory. So it's why. Yeah, that's easy enough. Nice. Rebecca. One last thing I forgot to give to you. Please grab a pencil from my desk and sign. Zoe, UPS, good luck. I can't flip it. Okay. Oh, we can open the windows. Just like in the demo. Rebecca. Yes. Great. Perfect timing. I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Moving the deceased. Coming with me, old man. Cold storage, bring everybody out, open the bay. I 
already forgot what this dude's name was. Gurney. Oh, it's so finicky. I'm not gonna like this. Okay. Well, for fuck's sake. That's gonna take some getting used to. All right, I'm just finishing up something here. So why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks? I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. Clipboard user forms keep a track of marks really easy. Okay, okay. Left button, left button, left button. That's right button. Oh, okay. So she has six on her. Whoa, they have the sensitivity is bad. Okay. Uh, rotate is right here. Okay. E, that looks gross. Okay. Asshole window. Mm. These old windows never stay latched. Nothing on her foot. Oh, that's right button. I keep getting it wrong. Okay, it's one, two, three, four. Must be something on her face. Yep. Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. She After that, so. we'll get started. No! You'll die here. What was that? I didn't say anything. You alright? Yeah. I'm fine. Sorry. Why is it this dumb okay thing is stuck in my screen? Get off! Fucking hell. Oh. Okay, keyboard and mouse might just be easier for this. So we need name. Give me age. And yes, I heard him. He said don't die here or something like that. Left shoulder vibration, right shoulder contusion. Left leg with blemishes, right arm, left arm. Nope, left arm. Left arm. There we go. Give me this. Okay, hold on. We're gonna fix the sensitivity. that is crazy sensitive actually we'll turn those on oh, we need to resume not quit duh okay that's a little better holy heat oh I need this time to embalm Oh, did he just like abandon me? Bye, bitch. 
All right. Oh. I've said everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. Everything's okay. on your list there if you need it. Okay, so you inspect the body wire. Needle injecting. Needle injector. Shut your mouth, lady. There we go. Uh, then we need eye caps. I caps. Why? Did you not put them in? Oh, there we go. Fucking hell. All right. Okay, embalming fluid. So that's formaldehyde. I can't hold anything else. I can only hold one at a time. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Fucking hell. Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly. Jesus and it can make them pop like that. Just keep doing your thing. I'll get it. Formaldehyde. I'm not even gonna try to say that hide. Gluteral. Gluter. Gluteral. Wait. Gluteraldehyde. There. Holy fuck. Humectant. I'm gonna keep hitting the wrong buttons for a while. You are the methanol. Okay, then what? We can incision in the carotid artery and jugular vein with the scalpel. Use forceps to clamp and tubing. There's the scalpel. There's the forceps, and then there's the tubing. <laughs> Ooh, the sneeze. Cutting. We need the forceps, and then we need the tubing. And then I think we just, he's just creeping on us. Yummy! Do it. Turn off pump, remove tubes, and close incision. Turn off pump, remove tubes, close incision. Fill an empty reservoir bag with cavity fluid and insert trocar. This reservoir bag, yes. There's the trocar. And then okay. Okay. 
Oh, fucking hell, look how deep it is. This looks nasty. Oof. There we go. Okay. Um, mix cleaners and bathroom closet to create tank cleaner, then pour into the embalming faucet. Okay. Okay, is that it? Is that what we do? Oh, I swear to God, there's somebody at the window. I gotta wait till it's done bringing you going. There was some... Oh, okay, it was the light. Fuck you. Why is it not? Why is it not cleaning? Is this something I'm gonna have to do with a mouse? Oh, wait. I have to hold down A to do it. Okay. Ew! Tell you what. What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. Um, uh, are you sure? I just got here. Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. Okay. Um, guess I'll just leave. Go ahead. It's fine. I'll give you a call when we get someone in. <sighs> just leaving while he's talking. Hey, achievement, my first body. It was just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? <sighs> yeah. So that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like he just said it to get me out of the building. Wait a sec, I have another call. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, out just... Mr. No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. Just not feeling too well. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it in right now. I was hoping you could come in and take care of them. In the middle well, of the rain. Yeah. Uh, are you sure? Lovely. I mean, of course. <laughs> Excellent. You're doing me a huge favor. I took care of the rest of your onboarding. We're all set. And your new badge is in your personal belongings drawer in the back room. That's oh, great. Yeah. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Holy shit. That was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. See? I told you it was fine. Congratulations. Thanks. I have to go. Like, right now. I'll talk to you later. Uh, where are my keys? Mm. 
You shut the fuck up. You're annoying. We're gonna search everything. Here we go. Wait, is that a book? Music band t-shirt. Oh, we can open these? Oh, yes. More towels. Ooh. My dad's necklace. Love you, Dad. Aw, what's this? Five year coin. Oh, Dad's five year sobriety. My sobriety coin. Oh, that's cute. Good for her. Okay. Death and Decay. I remember looking at these from the demo. There's a cell. Old. Ancient as fuck. Embalming. Why are you swiveling? There's grandma. There's my keys. We could have coffee. Can I look at any of these cabinets? A lot of takeouts, an organic something, mozzarella, sliced cheese, milk, coffee, tofu, more takeout, pickles, sauce, toothpaste, chips, cereal, pretty standard stuff. Can I run? I don't have my clipboard. I can run. Alright, guess I'll head to the back and get started. Give me the space. How do I chuck it? Oh, it just gave it to me now. Okay. We'll set it back down nicely, kind of. Or I can be a complete moron. There. Good enough. <gasps> what? I didn't even see anything! The fuck was that? Yo? Phone? I remember. Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the oh. library. Just try to stay calm. I know you're scared. I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? This is very sudden, but listen to me. To him? You have to start right away. I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. Why is my car door no open? No Did I leave it open? But this isn't funny. Stop. You need to take this seriously. You need to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll, I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <sighs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm. Okay? We embalm, file the paper. some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. Ugh. Damn it. What the fuck? This is insane. Okay. This is so stupid. I'm gonna go shut my car so door. hazing for the new girl or something. Just, just play along and do your job. Some stuff for me on the desk. Okay, I'm almost just a t Oh, I didn't get to finish looking at these drawers. Rebecca. Tape recorder. Old key. Hall key. Okay. Might as well go to the bathroom with them ready. 
assume this is Hawky. Ooh, that's not happening again. Oh, I want to go shut my car door. It's pissing me off. I'm fucking quitting tomorrow. I mean, who does something like this? All right, listen carefully. I'm, look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. Demon! To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. Uh. Oh. Look, I know this is a lot to take in. This is what the dev added after the demo. The demo, all you did was embalm a body, so I'm glad they kind of left this part in the dark. You. a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. <laughs> okay. The most important thing in the room is in that cabinet. Open it up. Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this had to happen. This is insane. Whatever. Just be the professional one, grab a body, and get started. Yeah, I want to explore. The Book of Typhon. Con oh, conversions. Six. Typhon walked among his disciples and he spoke. He who truly. Oh my god. He who does not truly let the Lord into his heart shall be judged by his sin and destined to serve those who truly believe for all are assigned the halls of hell. Abandon God as he has abandoned you. Bring this friend to your hearts and revel in his glorious sin for all are damned. There is no hope of God. All are marked for the houses of hell. As all are hopelessly lost, you have been left behind. And as he passed, honor in looked upon Typhon with disgust and said, I will not turn my eye from God. Satan has no dominion over the Lord's creation. Typhon looked unto Honorin and said, Pray as you wish, fall to your knees at this moment and call to God. Perhaps today he will step down from the heavens and all doubt shall vanish. Pray nothing. Pray to nothing and behold the truth. I will take from your God, God's creation the ashes of man, for it burns eternal and sinful fire. Is there another page? Um, Typhon held the charred remains of Darod and walked among his disciples, spreading his ash upon their flesh, setting the reeds in his hand ablaze. He said unto Honor, and see now that all are marked in the glory of Satan. Honor and beheld the flash of light upon the skin of each disciple as Typhon passed, and from it he saw a mark burned deep into their flesh, one of three for the houses of hell, for we all are destined to serve his higher purpose. And Typhon extended the ashes of Darod to the hands of Honor and said, Bear the forgotten flesh upon your own, ignite its sin, and accept the true God. How do I get it? Please tell me it did not just freeze. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. yes. Screw all of whatever this is. I'm getting back to work. Ooh. What is this? A letting strip. Ooh. Wait. Whatever. Just grab a body and get started. <laughs> Hell yeah! So we've got the weird slash left and... An, a weird sideways H. Weird slash and a sideways H. I think I can remember that. Weird left slash and I guess that's what these are for. Ooh, this does not have. There we go. Weird slash and a sideways H. There we go. Yeah, okay. So 
have saved, of course. Whatever. Just grab a body and get started. Well, I need another strip. I used it, I guess. Demons. Raymond, I really need a key to the hatch outside. Cleaner is low, and you mentioned having some down there before. I know you don't trust anyone to go down there, but having a copy of the key would make things a lot easier for everyone, Zoe. Ooh. Keys. I can't take them? Assholes. Okay. Six two eight two four four. Six two eight two four four. Six two eight two four four. Ooh. I'm always afraid someone's gonna be looking at me. Oh wait. Wait. How did this get in here? I was holding these. Wait, no, that's not it. That's it. Large old key. <sighs> Forget it. Whatever. Can I? Whatever. Why can't I get in? Fuck you. Oh, we can run, thank god. Oh, I didn't take the fucking... Can I run with this? No, I can't. No! Fuck you, stop! Building. <sighs> Fuck me in here. Scare the shit out of me. Don't turn the lights off, I don't like... I don't like darkness. Darkness scares me. Yeah, we'll just leave it open. His feet are wiggling. All right, let's check you out. We're shutting this because I'm scared. At least I can keep track of things. Whatever. Just oh. grab Am a I body not? Why can't I? And get started. Okay, fine. What's this? Labeled one, night shift system. The night shift database. Ooh. A computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. If you ever forget what to do, replay these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. Oh. Please let me turn the light Hello? on. Hello? Turn the light on. Fuck <laughs> you. Oh, nope, nope. New job. I'm getting out of here. Asshole. I was listening to a recording. You're a butt plug. Oh my god, that scared the piss out of me. Why am I? <laughs> no. No, I need two. Yes. To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. Screw this. I'm getting back to work. Stupid. Wait, can I not listen to the tape if I'm working? That's interesting. You, my good sir. Creepy. Why can I not? There we go. 
There we go. How do I listen? Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I can't listen to the tape if I'm... That sucks balls. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you, weakening you, until you are unable to resist. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, the more time you have. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known, allowing you the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way I've found to tell how far along the possession is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Seems too late. Don't think about it. Just scribble. Look carefully. If you notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. Uh, this database is a collection of all my findings related to the banishment of covetous demons, the history, the demonic, and the tools I have found through my research. Years of travel and piecing together whatever relics remain have been compiled here. The navigation bar at the top right leads to the following subsections. History of the demonic, um, identi- wait. History of the demonic, identifying demonic tendencies, sigils of demonic names, tools to combat demonic forces, path to banishment, embalm each body with a special reagent from the cabinet, Use letting strips from the cabinet to attempt to reveal demonic sigils. Compare the found demonic sigils to the demon's names in the night shift database. Build the mark to match the demon's name. Pay attention to each body for demonic activity. Note that bringing an already embalmed body back out to reinspect for changes may be necessary. Place the mark on the body believed to have demonic tendency. Burn that body in the retort before possession takes hold. Okay. A collection of demonic history since I first... Experience kind of with demonic entities, I have dedicated myself to researching everything I can to prevent their attempts at possession. My journey has taken me all over the world in search of answers. I have found that no particular religion has a full understanding of the demonic. While bits and pieces remain true in various interpretations, there is much that is inaccurate or simply unknown. I have compiled what I have found from various archives and relics. None of this is integral to banishment, but this knowledge may still be of use. Recovered language. Athenian texts and language. Athenian is a long dead language recorded to be lost in the burning of the Library of Alexandria. Only a handful of religious scribes had knowledge of Athenian texts in the spoken language. After the fires, that little was known was recorded and hidden to keep safe. Known as the ethereal language, it was believed to be the tools of angel or tool of angels to communicate with man. Few have been allowed access to the remaining documents. Ethan and, De and oh God, I can't even pronounce that. And the Hain. Demonic Ethan. Satan's exile from heaven and his hatred for God drove the creation of the desecrated dung and Tain. It, it was records that had been combined with the remaining documentation of ancient Ethan and attempt to discover more of the ancient language. Below are all the translations I could find. Sexy. Below are recorded. Oh. Ew. Ew. Okay. Um. The halls of hell. The halls of hell. When Satan and his followers fell from grace, he forged from his throne a great hall. In this hall, three houses were built, and he gave positions of power to his disciples in them. These disciples were to covet the souls of all sin and gather them to bring destruction to God's creation on earth. They were given charge of the three great houses, and then the halls to build and command their armies as archdemons of the devil known to humans as the covetous demons. Hell yeah! It's W. Mark of the Three. In the Mark of the Three, the Devil's Hand is seen holding three fingers up, surrounded by the, the iconography of the different houses. Okay. Porter letting. When the church finds out to be guilty of sin beyond the forgiveness of God, the accused could atone for their sins and re-enter the grace of by undoing or undergoing a cleansing sin known as quarter letting. A priest would bless the holy blood that remained in the sinner before cutting the rest in the line of the remaining blood of sin known as cofris to flow freely into an urn. Heard that. The blood would be drained until the accused became weak. This weakness was believed to be the body being unburdened from the weight of sin. The amount was believed to be approximately a quarter of the sinner's blood. The coffers was then burned as the blood was believed to be part human and part demonic. Lesser spirits. <gasps> a demon's powers are limited to that of their making. No one entity is strong enough to break them the world of living on their own and must rely on other spirits to achieve this goal. The following are various entities whose purpose in the demonic plane is to act as tools to reach beyond the veil. 
These forces have been used as beyond those of the covetous demons, and have appeared around the world where the fabric of the living and the damned is thin. The woman in white. Now, a fleeting manifestation of the house of desolation, this entity has the power to have a more physically influential presence in our world. A covetous demon will form a bond with this spirit long enough to reach between worlds and perform its desired task, be it spying on its victim, attacking or funneling demonic energies to it to make them more susceptible to possession. The woman in white is only a partial physical presence. While it can inflict harm to the living, it is limited in its power and will dissipate quickly. Uh, hello. The Shadow Man, a weaker manifestation of the House of Immolation. The Shadow Man is often seen as a guide, though it may also be used to spy on the living. A covetous demon may form a bond with the spirit in an attempt to influence or um, confuse its victims. The Shadow Man is often seen standing out of the corner of the eye, moving quickly in and out of sight or lurking in the shadows. The Mimic. Ew. The Mimic is a weaker manifestation of the House of in Invidiousness and is used primarily to view the living. The Mimic is the embodiment of the devil's envy of humanity. This manifestation longs to look as human as possible, but suffers eternally to only ever be a stiff, disfigured shell. What the true form of the Mimic is behind the shell is unknown. It has been recorded many times on closed-circuit television, often viewing the living only to vanish quickly at sea. Wait, are they all from different houses? Stop it! That one's invidiousness, immolation, and desolation. Wait. Go back. Um... I heard that. You're an asshole. Stop. While learning the name of the demonic entity is more about waiting, identifying which body is experiencing demonic tendency requires paying close attention. While any of the bodies can be manipulated, it's far easier for the entity to control its own vessel. Sudden movements, large or small, can be a sign of tendency. If a body appears to be more active than others, or strange markings start to appear, it may be signs of demonic tendency. However, the demon is trying its best to remain elusive and may manifest these man manipulations on other bodies, which is why it is important to take note of which body is experiencing these events. The more events link to a specific body, the more likely it is to be the chosen vessel. The appearance of new markings on the body, sudden movements are small, repeat movements is one body more active than others. When a demonic entity is present, the vessel it is occupying may form markings not previously observed. Inspecting a body additional times is important to spotting these. So it's scratches, upside down cross, thing, a symbol on the hands. A body with a demonic inhabitant may display sudden movements. These movements can be as small as a twist of the fingers or large as full body manipulation. Alright. This working? No. Yeah. This thing is huge. What's huge? Uh, I guess. Um, this is David. Hi, David. Raven. This feels insane, but I think you were right. This has happened a few times now, but let me see if I can get in here. It's a foot. Oh. There it is. <laughs> Sigils of the Covetous Demons Each of the Covetous Demons fall into one of the three houses of service in the Hall of Satan, the House of Sin. A demonic's true name is composed of four sigils of bondage. What are the three houses and all known Covetous Demons within them? So this one was Desolation. So this one was the White Lady. Immolation, I think, was the Dark Man. And Invidious, I think, is the creepy um, mimic thing. So, I, uh, okay, it could be this one, but probably not. Sevos. Because it, first symbol we found. Let's see, Sevos. Or not, no, it's not a set. I get, or it could be that one. Okay, so that's three. So we could have Invidious, Emulation. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm gonna assume it's this one. <gasps> oh my god! Stop! Stop! <laughs> so you just slowly beat up. I hate you. I hate you. You're not gonna go away until I get out of the computer. Oh, fucking god! Please don't move. I'm going to continue reading. I'm covering you with my hand. I don't want to see you while I'm reading. Duels of expulsion. An entity must be bound to its original vessel 
and that vessel destroyed in order to stop the process of possession. Throughout my work, I have managed to discover and establish a set of rules or tools to bring about banishment of demonic entities. He's still staring at me. The occupied body must contain the reagent. The mark must have the correct demonic name, and the mark must be placed on the correct body and burned. Below are all the tools that I'm aware of and their usage. Oh my god, the mark. I have to click on it. Oh my god, he's gonna murder me. The mark is one of two tools used to bind the demon to his chosen vessel. Each slot holds a sigil that represents part of the demon's name. When all four are placed in the correct configuration, place the completed mark on the vessel believed to have demonic tendency. The mark will react to the bill for reagent inside, binding the demon to it. Once the demon is bound, burn the body. I'm covering the demon's name. The evocation can only be completed once the demon has inscribed the four sigils of its name into our world. They are hidden from us until revealed by the burning of lead and parchment. Once all four sigils are discovered, the name of the demon will be known and the mark can be built. Hey. Fuck you. You're still staring at me. I hate you. Bail for reagent. Oh my god, why is there so many words? The reagent is the second part of the tools used to bind the demon to its chosen vessel. It has a unique ability to react to the mark of the demon's name. Since it's unknown which body the demon occupies, it is important to add the reagent to all the bodies being embalmed. This ensures that once the mark has been built, any of the bodies will be ready to receive it. The demon will do whatever it can to breed doubt, so it is unlikely, though not impossible, that any noticeable change will occur once the mark or reagent are in place. The choice of body and demon must be certain before burning the body. Okay. Letting parchment. Uh, the demonic uh, evocation can only be completed once the demon has inscribed the four sigils of its name into our world. They are hidden from us and must be revealed. Letting parchment or letting strips are special pages of scripture marked with calling symbols and Athenian text that will cause the demon sigils to burn into our world when near. To use letting parchment, simply hold a strip up. As the demonic sigil is approached, the paper will begin to smolder. The closer the parchment becomes, the more violent the reaction will be, and it will burn. When the paper combusts completely, the sigil is revealed in the area of the. <laughs> Stop. Oh my fucking god. <sighs> Thank you. Fuck off my screen. <sighs> fucking hell. <sighs> See, because we took so long to read everything, everything's just going fucking crazy in here. Right arm. Left leg. Nope, that's left arm. Left leg. No, it's right leg. God damn it. No, that's... Fuck you! Left leg. You guys can suck my ass. I'm afraid to look anywhere. Oh, that's what I heard. You need to file a copy up front. Oh my god. I heard the door, the drawers open. Stay there, fuck. Get away. Um, come on. It's time to embalm. Okay. I'm not inside yet. Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna shut my door. Yes, it was bothering me. Welcome to OCD. Shut the fuck up. Fuck you. Okay. Actually, in all honesty, I'm not. Su I'm kind of shocked that there wasn't another sigil somewhere, considering that we spent all that time reading all that stuff. Okay, so. I'm gonna pause for this because I don't wanna get molested. So, um, it's a, an auto save system, but I really wish it would save more often. Like, I wonder if it only saves after a body is done um, because I really do want to stop recording right now, but I don't think it's gonna save where I'm at, which is really sad. So I wonder if I have to finish involving a body and then maybe it'll save then. So I'm not really sure. Um, however, um, when I was watching somebody else play this, the the biggest problem it seemed like people were having was the fact that um, they couldn't tell which body was possessed. And it's hard to tell because you kind of have to base it off markings. And then um, it was also took some time for people to recognize symbols to determine who the demon was. I'm assuming you have to go start from top and go around clockwise. And if that's true, then realistically, I already know the name and I already know the house. Um, but what I'm curious about is if I wonder, considering 
the three entities that can appear and scare you. So obviously we just saw, I think that one was the Mimic, the weird white dude that popped up on the left of my screen um, and scared the shit out of me. I wonder if they all appear, but I wonder if one appears more than the other. So that kind of gives you a hint as to what house um, the demon is from. And then you get the sigils, obviously. But the uh, I think what I'm going to have trouble with also is what everybody else does, which is the... Um, determining which body it is so as of right now this body the only thing it's done is laugh if that was even this body we don't even know i don't like pulling this up because then i always fear somebody's going to be next to me oh fuck you okay no i can't okay i guarantee i'm gonna have to restart from a certain point but the recording is on long enough. It'll take way too long to go through and do a whole body and hope that it saves. So I'm just going to have to end it here. Um, so I do hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, it definitely is interesting. Wait, what? That was strange. I hit exit and it was like, no, bitch, you're going back into the game. I yo, <laughs> um, but um, yeah, it is gonna be interesting to see. I wonder where it puts me. Let's find out really quick. Let's see where it puts me. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen this. What did I last do? Old key, hall key. Oh, so the only thing I haven't done is open this closet. Eww. Oh, and I gotta log back in again. So I wonder when the, what the checkpoint was. But okay, that's all we need to know. So I am pretty close to where I was. So I'm not gonna complain. Um, Cause obviously I, it did it again. Obviously I won't reread. Um everything again for you guys because you've already heard it so um i will just pick up the tapes again reopen the cabinet Ooh, i wonder if we haven't seen i guess we haven't seen the first sign yet since the cabinet's locked again well that's fine so um we kind of know what's going on so that's good enough for me but um i am gonna leave it here we will continue on in the next one so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more and as always i will see you all in the next one bye guys <laughs>